so since uh, we have understood uh, confidence level and confidence interval now we will do some practical demonstration on how to calculate the right sample size required to perform any sort of analysis okay so for that uh, we will go to google.com and then we'll mention the sample size calculator the first link that we have for the service system.com it's a perfect tool calculator that we have we click on it okay okay now you can see this page which is for creative research systems uh, they are the complete service software solutions since 1982 so this is a perfect uh, organization who does the survey as well so now you can see here we have uh, we can see confidence level and confidence interval here also and it would help us to calculate the sample size needed. So let's say our population is 2000, okay? And we are going with 95% of confidence level, okay? Which means I am 95% confident about the results that I'll be achieving from doing the sample, okay? So what is the confidence interval that I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with, which is the margin of error. So I would say uh, I want to go with 3% or three confidence interval, which is plus minus 3%, okay? The moment I click on calculate, I got the sample size, which is 696. So which means on a population of 2000, and if I want to be 95% accurate on what I would be getting, the results I'll be getting, and I go with confidence interval of plus minus three, which is a kind of a range, the sample size needed would be 696, okay? So that's a sample size I would like to go. Now you can see that in this particular way, we can always change uh, our numbers here, okay? So let's say if I want to go for higher confidence level, if I want to go with a higher confidence level, I want to be more accurate. The population is 2000, the confidence interval is three, what do you think the sample size needed would increase from 696 or it would decrease okay so let's see what would happen it would definitely increase because earlier i wanted to be 95 percent accurate or confident the precision which is also called the confidence interval is now 99 percent and now i would require the higher sample size which is 961 okay so that's how we can see that let's take another example here okay so I have, I have a confidence level of 95%. Now the confidence interval, the margin of error, instead of three, I'm mentioning it here as a two. Okay. What do you think? It would increase or decrease? It would definitely increase because now my margin of error is very, very less. I can't go with plus minus three error. Now I can go only with plus minus two. And if I click on 99%, it would increase like anything. Okay, so that's what is the that's what is the relevance of confidence level and confidence interval. Okay, so let's do it one more time so that you would be able to understand each and everything. I'm just getting rid of everything. I'm just clearing it. So I have a population of let's say five thousand. I want to be ninety five percent accurate, and I am saying that I want to be the confidence interval or the margin of error that I want to go for is uh, let's say three. Okay, so put it three here. I click on calculate. So it says I need to collect 880 sample size. With the 880 sample size, I would be 95% accurate of the sample size that I've taken. And I would be confidence interval, which is the margin of error would be plus minus three. Okay, 